Notion is a great productivity software that offers a lot of functions and features. It's used by businesses, professionals, and also students. One of its best features is how customizable everything is. You can create pages and templates that suit exactly what you need. From a to-do list to a journal or a test reviewer, you can do everything on their vast array of functions. But to complete the personalization of your page, you might be wondering how to change the font. Let's start with the basic fonts. Notion lets you change a page's font, but there are currently only three options. The default font, serif, and finally mono. If you're using your laptop or computer, launch the application if you have it downloaded. If not, you can access Notion through your browser by typing in notion.so. Once you're logged in, select a page you want to view. Then on the upper right part of the screen, click on the three dots. A drop-down menu will appear with all three fonts shown. You can switch between fonts by clicking on it. You can do the same steps to change the font in Notion through the application on your iPad or phone. Now, sometimes these three default fonts won't suffice. But at the moment, Notion doesn't allow its users to upload custom fonts. But luckily, there is a quick and easy way to change your text's fonts. You just need a font generator or another application with the font you like. You can access a font generator through your web browser. Here are two that we recommend. You can go to fontspace.com forward slash font dash generator or igfonts.io. With a font generator, you can paste in a text, select the font you like, copy it on your clipboard, then paste it back into your page in Notion. If you have Canva or similar platforms, this method will work as well. If you're planning to change the font of a chunk of text, then you can type it first in Notion before pasting it on a font generator website. This method may require you to open two tabs at once, but it's easy and there are no downloads needed. Now you can spice up your headings or titles and personalize your pages to your liking. If you find this video helpful, make sure to click like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification icon to watch other guides about all sorts of technology. Also, check out these other cool videos we think you'll enjoy.